good morning today i'm going to explain what is compton effect and the explanation of this compton effect first compton effect means compton discovered that when a monochromatic beam of high frequency radiation is scattered by a substance the scattered radiations contain two components one is having lower frequency or greater wavelength and the other is having the same frequency or wavelength and this phenomenon is known as compton effect he explained this phenomena phenomenon by the concept of quantum theory of radiation so according to the quantum whenever a high frequency photon is scattered by a electron which is at rest position so then the time the scattered uh, the scattered radiations contain the two components one is having the same frequency as that of the instant photon and the other is having a greater frequency okay so that we have to explain and we had to prove this one so to prove this one he he taken the quantum theory of radiations so according to the quantum theory of radiation we know that uh, the the energy is consists of a, a energy pockets and that pockets is called the photons and the energy of the photon is h nu where h is the planck's constant and nu is the frequency of radiations according to the compton when the photon of energy h nu is collides with the electron of a scatterer which is at rest position some energy of the photon is transferred to the electron and the scattered photon will have the less energy than the incident photon this phenomenon of scattering is explained by the compton so by assuming the scattering as a collision between the photon and the electron of scatterer and here here he applied the law of conservation of energy and law of conservation of momentum here by the according to the compton that is whenever a photon is incident or scattered by the uh, electron so that time some energy of the photon is transferred to the electron so due to which the scattered photon having a less energy and at the same time the electron gains the energy or kinetic energy due to which it recoils okay so here we had to explain and uh, uh, here we had to prove this one to prove that one here this is the explanation of the compton effect let us consider a photon of energy h nu is collides with an electron which is at rest position even if the electron is bound to the nucleus a small fraction of energy is used to free the electron first of all this energy is very small we'll assume that during the collision a fraction of energy is given to the free electron the electron gains the kinetic energy and recoil so just now i told you that is the incident photon is uh, gives the energy to the electron due to which it gets first of all it is free from the particular substance and after that it gains the kinetic energy and recoiled now here this is the diagram this is the incident photon of energy h nu this is the rest electron and this is the angle phi you and this is angle theta and this is the scattered photon and recoiled electron in the above figure theta is the scattering angle and phi is the recoiled angle of the electron okay now we have to apply the law of conservation of energy and law of conservation of momentum before the collision and after the collision so here before the collision the energy of the incident photon is h nu so simply the energy of the uh, photon before the collision is h nu and before the uh, collision uh, uh, the momentum of the incident photon uh, momentum of this photon is h nu by c now the rest energy of the electron which is at rest position the electron before the collision the energy of the electron is m not c square where m not is the rest mass of electron now the momentum of the rest when it is in the rest position means the momentum is zero so before the collision the momentum of the rest electron is zero now after the collision so after the collision the scattered photon having the energy h nu dash now the momentum of the scattered photon is h nu dash by c now the energy of the electron so this electron after gaining the photon's energy energy of this one is mv square where v is the velocity of the electron uh, sorry mc square where m is the mass of the moving electron 
and uh, if the electron is moving with the velocity v then we can write m is equal to m naught by under root of 1 minus v square by c square and when it is in the motion then the momentum of the electron is mv now the energy of the photon and electron system before collision before collision uh, just now i told you h nu for the air photon and uh, energy and m naught c square is the energy of the electron now the total energy of the system after the collision h nu dash plus m c square just now i told you now then the law of conservation of energy is tells us that the total energy before the collision is equal to the total energy after the collision so therefore h nu plus this two equation must be equal h nu plus m naught c square before collision total energy of the photon and electron system next is equal to the total energy of the electron and photon after the collision that is h nu dash plus m c square let us take this is equation number one okay now we have to apply the law of conservation of momentum after and before the collisions now we have to apply the uh, law of conservation of momentum along the perpendicular direction of the instant photon we get so first of all we have to consider along and perpendicular when the photon is incident in this direction so that time we have to apply the law of conservation of energy along this direction and in the perpendicular direction also so here momentum before collision is equal to momentum after the collision so that's why h nu by c just now i told you the momentum before collision is h nu by c plus electron momentum is before collision is that is at rest position the momentum will be zero so h nu c plus c plus zero is equal to total momentum before collision next along the direction so along the direction means just now i told you this is divided into two components that is mv cos theta and mv sin sorry mv cos phi and mv sin phi uh, sin phi and this is h nu dash cos theta for the photon and h nu dash sin theta so this is along this uh, incident photon this is the instant photon in this direction and this is the uh, along the direction component and this is the perpendicular direction to the incident photon that is h nu sin theta and mv cos phi are the perpendicular direction to the incident photon so we have to consider first of all along the incident photon so h nu dash c cos theta plus mv cos phi is equal to total momentum of the system after the collision along the incident direction next momentum before the we know that momentum before the collision is equal to momentum after the collision according to the law of conservation of momentum so h nu c plus 0 is equal to h nu dash c cos theta plus mv cos phi let us take this is equation number 2 so this is we have considered cos theta and cos phi along the direction of the incident photon now we have to consider perpendicular direction to the incident photon so perpendicular to the direction uh, of the photon the momentum is 0 so we uh, that can be written as 0 plus 0 is equal to h nu dash c sin theta here and mu m v cos y so here the sin theta and of cos y are in opposite direction so that's why we have to introduce the negative sign so perpendicular direction the momentum all um, um, perpendicular uh, con when you consider to the uh, photon um, photon when uh, in the perpendicular direction this is the equation that is let us take this is equation number three now from equation number 2 we have simplifying the equation number 2 mv cos phi is equal to h nu c minus h nu dash c cos theta mv cos phi is equal to h nu minus h nu dash cos theta. so just see you have to take this lcm c to this side just see this side let us take this is equation number 4 now from equation number 3 we have so equation number 3 also we are simplifying mv and this c goes to this side that is mvc sin phi is equal to h nu dash sin theta let us take this is equation number 5 now if you squaring the equation number 4 and 5 and adding first of all we had to square this equation number 4 and equation number 5 and we had to add left hand side to left hand side and right hand side to the right hand side so when you square and add to the both the equations 4 and 5 m square v square c square cos square phi is plus m square v square c square sin square phi left hand side is equal to h nu dash sin square uh, whole theta plus whole square plus h nu minus h nu dash 
cos theta whole square so here this is common we can take m square v square c square so common then cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 and this is right hand side is as it is we wrote next m square v square c square is equal to here h nu naught nu dash sin theta whole square plus and this is in the form of a minus b whole square so we are expanding this is h nu minus h nu dash cos theta as a, a minus b whole square next m square v square c square is equal to h square c nu dash square sin square theta plus h square nu dash square cos square theta so just this cos this and this we are taking to one side only plus h square nu square minus 2 h square nu nu dash cos theta next here h square h square h square is there so we have to take out the common h square so we will get nu dash uh, m square v square c square is equal to h square nu dash square sin square theta plus nu dash square cos square theta plus nu dash nu square minus 2 nu nu dash cos theta so this is again sin square theta and cos theta cos square theta is equal to the 1 so that's why i can make it uh, 1 that is m square v square c square is equal to h square nu dash square plus nu square minus 2 nu nu dash cos theta is let us take this is equation number 6 now from equation number 1 so after simplifying the equation number 1 we get m square m c square is equal to h nu minus h nu dash plus m naught c square so squaring this both the sides so equation number is simplifying and after that we are squaring from this side to the side and this total term becomes a and this total term becomes b so when you square this one m square c to the power of 4 is equal to oh, h square nu minus nu dash whole square plus m naught square c to the power of 4 plus 2 h nu minus nu dash uh, m naught c square this is in the form of a plus b whole square next again this is nu minus nu dash whole square this is again a minus b whole square so again we have to expand this one in the form of a minus b whole square m square cd power, power of 4 is equal to h square nu square plus nu dash square minus 2 nu nu dash plus m naught c square c square c to the power of 4 plus 2 h nu minus nu dash m naught square c to c square so let us take this is equation number 7 now subtracting equation number 6 from equation number 7 we get so now we have to subtract this equation from equation number 7 and again same as it is left hand side left hand side we have to subtract and right hand side right hand side so when you subtract equation for 5 and 6 then we get m square c to the power of 4 minus m square v square c square left hand side is equal to m minus h square 2 nu nu dash plus 2 h square nu nu dash cos theta plus m naught square c to the power of 4 plus 2 h nu minus nu dash m naught c square so again here this is we have taken common m square c square then it becomes c square minus v square here is equal to 2 h square nu nu dash this is here i wrote here this term and this term can be written as cos theta minus 1 this is minus so again it get minus only plus m naught square c to the power of 4 plus 2 h nu nu dash m naught c square is as it is next here we have to substitute m is equal to m naught this is m naught and this is also m naught so we have to go we have to making this left hand side also m naught for that purpose m is replaced by uh, m naught by under root of 1 minus v square by c square then m square is equal to m naught square by 1 minus v square by c square i can write so here in at this position i am writing m naught square by 1 minus v square by c square c square and c square is as it is c square minus v square is as it is is equal to 2 h square nu nu dash cos theta minus 1 plus m naught square c to the power of 4 plus 2 h nu minus nu dash m naught c square next here uh, if you simplify this equation so if you simplify i can write m naught square c square by 1 minus v square c square into c square minus v square can be written as if you take the lcm this becomes c square minus v square by c square so c square minus v square c square minus v square get cancelled and c square goes to upside then it will be m naught square c to the power of 4 so i can write m naught square c to the power of 4 is equal to 2 h square nu nu dash cos theta minus 1 plus m naught square c to the power of 4 plus 2 h nu minus nu dash m naught c square so i can write this one both the sides this get cancelled this total term becomes equal to the 0 okay here again 2 h and 2 h is there so 2 2 day just equating this equation so that time here cos theta minus 1 goes to oh, 
1 minus cos theta when you introduce the equal in between the equation then it be uh, 2 to get cancel h is get cancel then nu minus nu dash is into m not c square is equal to h nu nu dash 1 minus cos theta nu by nu dash by nu to nu dash is equal to h by i can write this equation in this form h by m not c square 1 minus cos theta or this can also be written as 1 by nu dash minus 1 by nu is equal to h by m not c, uh, c square 1 minus cos theta also we can write let us take this is equation number 8 from the equation 8 it is clear that nu is nu dash is less than nu as h m not c are constant with the positive values here and uh, maximum value of the cos theta is 1 this shows that the scattered frequency is smaller than that of the incident frequency so in terms of wavelength i can write nu is equal to c by lambda so it's simply c by nu if you take to this side then it can be written as c by nu dash minus c by nu is equal to h c by m naught c square 1 minus cos theta and uh, c by nu dash is can be written as lambda dash minus lambda is equal to hc by m naught c square 1 minus cos theta here lambda dash minus lambda is nothing but it's a change in wavelength and that is represented by delta lambda is equal to hc by m naught c square 1 minus cos theta now and this can be written as the delta uh, lambda is equal to hc by m naught c square uh, and this uh, cos theta can be written as 1 plus 2 sin square theta by 2 so 1 is as it is minus is my mi as it is next cos theta is can be written as 1 plus 2 sin square theta by 2 1 minus plus 1 and minus 1 get cancelled c c get cancelled then the delta lambda is equal to h by m naught c 2 sin square theta by 2 so the change in wavelength due to the scattering is called the compton effect thank you for more videos subscribe my channel physics